everyone's least favorite CNN employee is somehow back on CNN. <laughs> Seriously, I'm talking about Don Lemon. So he was briefly gone, and then all of a sudden, he made a comeback tonight on Aaron Burnett's show because, well, he's back singing their song, ladies and gentlemen. He went for this brief foray over to X with Elon Musk, did some kind of deal because Tucker Carlson and Don Lemon, I believe, have the exact same Hollywood agent that somehow knows Elon, or maybe Tucker knew Elon and introduced him to the agent and to Don, and it was, well, how shall we say, short-lived. Elon did not like him very much. It may have had, I don't know, it may have had something to do with this little clip, Peru. Do you believe that X and you have some responsibility to moderate hate speech on the platform? That you wouldn't have to answer these questions from reporters about the Great Replacement Theory as it relates I to I don't Democrats, have to answer these questions. The Great Replacement Theory as it relates to Jewish people. Do you think that... I don't have to answer questions from reporters. Don, the only reason I'm doing this interview is because you're on the X platform and you asked for it. Uh, <laughs> otherwise, I would not do interviews. In other words, I would do the interview with you, buddy, because you know what? I don't like you very much, but here I am. I'm doing the interview because you're on the platform. Somehow I strangely agreed to do a deal with you, which, well, as I said, was pretty short-lived. Let me see if I can show you the tweet because he's out with a tweet. Yep, he's out with a tweet basically saying this was a mistake. I really shouldn't have hired him. Shouldn't have hired him because, well, he's a little too CNN. Let me read to you what he wrote. He said... His, meaning Don's, approach was basically just CNN, but on social media, which doesn't work, as evidenced by the fact that CNN is dying. And instead of being the real Don Lemon, it really was just Jeff Zucker talking through Don, so lacked authenticity. All that said, Lemon slash Zucker, they're of course welcome to build their viewership on this platform along with everyone else. Oh my goodness. So kind of funny. <laughs> And he goes running back to CNN. This is what's incredible. So he calls his friends over at CNN. It's now under new management. Because don't forget, remember, Zucker got fired. They brought in Chris Licht, who the staff hated. Because I, I guess he was willing to do a Trump interview or something. So the staff hated Chris Licht. And he fired Don Lemon. So now they get the New York Times guy in there running things. And apparently he's fine with bringing Don back onto the show since Don... Do you believe that X and you have some responsibility to moderate hate speech on the platform? That you wouldn't have to answer these questions from reporters about the Great Replacement Theory as it relates I to Democrats? I don't have to answer these questions. The Great Replacement Theory as it relates to Jewish people. Do you think that... I don't have to answer questions from reporters. Don, the only reason I'm doing this interview is because you're on the X platform and you asked for it. Mm -hmm. uh, otherwise, I would not do interview, this interview. So you don't think, that you, do you think that you wouldn't get in trouble or you wouldn't be criticized for these things? I'm or criticized that there constantly. Was... I could care less. So now watch. Illuminating in so many ways. All right, I have two, I have two things I want to ask you about that, Don. First, the great replacement theory. Right. As you bring it up, um, you know, he has tweeted, uh, a tweet he shared, increasing illegals boost Dem voting power, causing them to recruit more. If Dems win President, House, and Senate, they'll grant citizenship to all legals, and America will become a permanent one-party deep socialist state. Right. right? He has gone there directly. Uh, how much does he stand by these ideas? Well, he didn't quite seem to understand that he did. Uh, originally, he did that with Jewish people, sort of a great replacement theory thing that he did with Jewish people, and he got in trouble, and he had to go to Auschwitz and, and answer questions and, and apologize and, and go with Ben Shapiro. But um, he doesn't understand... How, that that sort of rhetoric that he talks about, the Great Replacement Theory and, um, and a migrant invasion, that's what radicalized shooters use in their manifestos, mm -hmm. those exact words. The people who go and shoot up people, whether they oh, be Latino people who this? live in Texas or black because people you know who are in a supermarket uh, in Buffalo such an or Jewish people who are, who oh are worshiping, those people use the same rhetoric, that they are tropes that they're either racist for Latinos or black people or for Jewish people. And I wanted to know if he, had, if he felt any responsibility as someone who has the, one of the largest social media and information platforms in the world. A quarter billion people. A quarter billion. Oh, my gosh. This is exactly why we don't watch CNN anymore, okay? Exactly why. So, you know what? I'm with Elon. I think Jeff Zucker is still his little buddy. And 
they said, hey, let's go do this deal. And like, you can be like the spy on the inside of X, right? You know, take down X, take down Elon. And Elon's like, yeah, no, I don't need it. I don't need to do this interview with you. I'm only doing it because you asked and you're on the platform. But you know what? I don't even need you on the platform anymore. You're welcome to be on it. I don't need to pay you to be on this platform or do any kind of partnership deal. So that's a win for Elon. And it's a win for America and those of us that are on X so that we don't have to watch Don Lemon there. And guess what? For all of you 10 people in the country that would like to watch Don Lemon, you can do so apparently now again on CNN. Hey, don't forget to subscribe, like, share, do all that good stuff because you know what? It's you and me together against this establishment. The CNNs, shall we say, of the world. I'll see you tomorrow.